Hey guys, welcome to The Wolf Among Us, part 2 of episode 1. Uh, to kill away landing here, well, of course. Uh, hope you're enjoying the last play so far. I'm not gonna keep you, just let's jump right in. Oh shit. You could have tidied up at least, it's a bit of a shithole. Now he decides to stream this time. Uh, Big B! Snow. What? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Random redhead. Let's see. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Jacket, nice. Where's the zombies? Oh no, it says security. I thought it said sheriff. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Fucked up. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? Sweet. I bloody thought Jesus. I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl. A working girl. I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... give me a second. It's just... terrible. So... who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then... I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Okay. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. This is some screwed up nonsense. What be that? What is? Yeah, take it then. Duh. Blech. Oh, it's the ribbon. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Examine the stump. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Look. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm... 
I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Yeah, let's cover the head back up. Jesus. that blood. There we go. <coughs> blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour maybe. Being a wolf and not caught by his advantages I guess. You can tell stuff like that. That brick. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Maybe the person they murdered her was wearing jeans. Maybe they ripped him on there. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Excellent. I'm not just gonna do the same thing. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Right. Um. This bitch is kind of just chilling. Did you know? She is not even doing anything. <laughs> what are you doing? Better be thorough. <laughs> sure, just nice. Hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? The woodsman threatened to kill her with me in the room. Maybe he wants me to know that he did it. Oh, don't I suppose stupid. it's possible. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. Whatever. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Uh, he'll probably be another pig or something. Or the pig boy or whatever. Hey. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must yes. be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I oh, work here. Sure, man. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Fucker. <laughs> Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. 
You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your oh, help, Ichabod. Bigby. Gotcha. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. What? Sheriff, you are the one the charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Oh my god. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. This guy's a any dick. shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Don't have Blue Bluebeard is. was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Okay. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. Thanks very much. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Really? Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Uh huh. More like Where a is the dog. bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Jesus Christ, really? Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. <laughs> we'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. Yeah. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and. And I don't care. Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? <clears throat> Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Flying monkey. Ball of wine. Nice. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Ichabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> nice. An alcoholic flying monkey. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Hmm. He seems pleasant enough. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the <laughs> first three. Be back in a few minutes. So he's a librarian as well. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment uh, squared away, really? but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Okay, magic Hi. lamp. Yes, Rub that. Yeah, Ginny. You know that, uh, Mr. Wish that you knew the case was Where's over. Try. Oh, seriously? Yes, that's right. Okay. Don't worry about that, I guess. No, Let's go and talk to her about a glass. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. Oh, I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. Uh. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. Oh, See? Is that so <laughs> Has to make a rain. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? 
I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Let's learn about Snow White. Show me Snow White. Om nom nom. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? <laughs> what you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. That's not very helpful. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Uh. Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! Really? Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Here he comes. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. I think not. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Oh, wow, really? That's not very nice. Beauty in happier days. Huh. Woodsman? Yep. And his axe. <laughs> Not a fan, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> Gang bang by half pains. <laughs> okay, that was quite wrong. I think her name was Ray. <coughs> Again. and his brothers. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. She's like related to the king or something stupid like that. What? Right. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Yeah. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. <laughs> I only translate. <laughs> uh, What's yeah. it say about that? It says, Brickle bit in an older elvish hat. <laughs> What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. What? <laughs> That's awesome. Wish I had that spell. Ah, it's a Jabberwocky thing. Okay, that's not it. But What's that? Might as well learn. It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Right. 
must be the other way then. There it is. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey well, skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Bufkin, we don't need the commentary. That's strange. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Oh, God, really? She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Obviously not. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. That sucks. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. Uh -oh. You think he did it? Well, she was a whore. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a bit darker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be able to kind of... Well, not like this anyway. Right. Now, what do I do? Pick up the phone or something. So this is why these things are really hard to do. Fucking. Ah. Mirror, mirror, blah blah, Abel, blah 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 about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> like a boss. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, delightful. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Also dead. What's he been doing? Okay, okay. Where is this? Probably. Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Why the hell did they leave their own place to come to that crap hole? Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, Doesn't make any sense we're to going me. over there. Unless there's something wrong with it. Who knows? Sorry, oh, great. I have to get that. Another phone call. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. What? For Bigby, me? Bigby, it's me. Hello. Oh, it's so You there? What up? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! Oh, what was man. that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Okay.
after you. Oh, Did Todd say who was there? This is one was it the long woodsman? episode. Uh, oh, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Hmm. Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh, I think Lawrence is dead, so... Got the toads. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. After. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Yep. Looks worse in the day. Whoa. Half the wall's missing. Is somebody up there? Hey! Oh, great. Wait here. Damn it. I'm sorry! That's enough, all right? Just shut it! Oh god, now we need to kick the hell of a toad. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Okay. Well, she's a nosy thing, isn't she? Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Nope. <laughs> knock, knock, motherfucker. Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. It's a cause, you knob. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but, uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Yeah, right. So, you know, false alarm. What's going on? What do you mean? <coughs> You're lying. Through Nothing's your going on, tongue. Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm oh, is dear. all. Sorry. You were there when I kicked the show of the wizard, weren't you? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Mm, uh, that's not ugly, child. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? Ugh. It has a weevil. Cool. Yeah. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm gonna end this here, and I'll pick it up next time. It's been a pretty long episode already, so... Yeah, it's been pretty good so far. Bit complicated, but it's a Telltale game. They're really just all about story, and uh... Not about hints. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway guys, see you later. Thanks for watching. You know, subscribe and that. Bye!